Hello everyone. Once again, let me take this opportunity to welcome you to this session. We are going to discuss the if uh, statement and if nested statement. So, if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing, like and share so that we can increase uh, this community of running IT skills. So, with me, I can proceed with the with the one the, the file that we had uh, previously. So remember here we had the if statement and in this statement we can see that in this it can either take two parameters that is the two values either a true or a false but now you find that there are some scenarios where you want to have more than two uh, maybe parameters or more output which we can say that it can take more than two uh, values and that's where the if statement comes in we know that for the if will only be in a scenario where the two situations will be only the comments needed either maybe it can be either a pass or a fail a true or a false or something like that and it is also pos possible to output more comments depending on the criteria uh, given and that's why we have the the if function if nested if function uh, being in place so that we can uh, have more comments depending on the criteria maybe that we are given so with me here i'm going to have this so i can just have another sheet here i can just click on that i can right click and then i can rename it and maybe say this one is a uh if uh, uh, or nested if maybe nested if uh, nested if so that is one that we need and then i can click enter that way so we have nested if and maybe in this nested if we can assume that uh, we are going to output these marks but where we have maybe a mark that is more than 80 we can maybe have the output or being the good or the comment maybe where we have greater than 60 it can be fair and maybe the rest can be poor so i can just uh, copy this from here all the way down and then i can just uh, right click or just you can use this clipboard all here which is the copy and then you can go to this and then we can use the clipboard also you can click on paste like that so here here is where we want to output such a, a formula and for us to be able to use uh, the if uh, the nested if it means that we can use more than one if and uh, one formula so in this case maybe for example here remember uh, we can always start with the equal sign with the equal sign for the function so you can say equals and here we can have the two if if and then we can have it in the parentheses like that uh, we can have and remember every parenthesis that you open or brackets you open it must be crossed so we need to have this range we call this one is uh, cell a2 like that that cell a2 must be uh, uh, greater maybe than 80 we have said that where it is greater than 80 where it is greater than 80 like that remember that's our logic and then we can pass the argument or any value that you want to output and separate it with a comma we can say here you type for us uh, maybe something to do with the uh, good something to do with the good and then we can close this like that and then because we want another one we can have another if we can have another if here and then here this is the nested if now that is where it comes in so we can have the if here like that and then we can uh, uh, pass uh, maybe our argument that we want and uh, still because we want this uh, column uh, or that cell uh, being greater than being greater than being greater than uh, being greater than what we can put it to be maybe uh, greater than uh, uh, maybe a 60 greater than 60 
here greater than 60 that way and then we can separate it with a comma like that we want to type uh, maybe maybe pass or maybe we can type it to be maybe pass we're gonna have pass that way and then we can have the last uh, and everything that is uh, uh, below that we can have it being a fail and it being a fail and it being a fail like that and then we can close it that way and then we can close that and then we can also close that to close the um, frame and then we can click enter like that so here you can see because this one is uh, not above 50 it is a fail here this one becomes a fail then we can try and copy this formula all through we see what happens and here you can see we have more than one output you can see where we have something to do with the 80 we have uh, maybe good and maybe here if we give another value here to be maybe here we can put it to be 95 like that uh, 95 then next we can put it so you can see here is a good we can put a 40 we can go it's a fail we can put maybe a 62 and then here it is a pass so that is how we can have more than one uh, maybe a comment in a given a scenario like that in a given scenario like that remember what you need to know is that any open bracket should be closed at the end of the entire maybe if function and if the comments are given that is if maybe you want three comments you must have like two if statement and if you have more than uh, uh, eight you must have maybe seven and all of them you must space them maybe for example if you come to that you must space them and separate them with a comma with a comma so you may give maybe for example let us give the one that has uh, 40 uh -huh. so that is how you can double click to have that like that and remember you can use maybe the sum if if we want maybe the function to take the range of the cell that means uh, maybe a specific uh, condition we can have a return of a given uh, maybe value and maybe in these maybe let us try to sum something maybe we can say we sum uh, maybe under which cell and this cell let us have uh, maybe here you can say equals and then here we can have the sum if the sum if and then we can put the parentheses like this and then we can uh, maybe have the reach we can have the reach here and maybe we want that range up to there and then remember always to separate a range maybe with a, that is a, the, the range with a comma and then we can put the condition and here we can say we sum if uh, that is uh, greater than uh, maybe greater than 50 greater than 50 sorry if it is greater than greater than 50 that way if it is greater than than 50 that way if it is greater than than 50 it is greater than 50 that way and then we can close it sorry and then we can click enter so you can see because that is greater than 50 here we can have uh, the sum let us try to have it remember this sum is the one that is us uh, and we can have it like that so you can see whatever there is uh, something that is greater than 50 uh, we have that uh, 
sum. So let us try to see if we can count anything that is uh, above 50. So we can have here, uh, we can have maybe there, we say equals, and then here we can say maybe for example, we can just have this being count if, and have count if, maybe count, count if, count if, like that, count if, and then here we can have the parentheses, and then we can put uh, maybe the condition of our age, and then criteria, as you can see, as we hover around the formula, here the syntax is written. So the syntax requires us to have the range and then we can pass the criteria that we want to have. And maybe to pass the range we can select from here all the way down to that point. And then from there we can uh, maybe remember to separate as it is indicating here with a, a comma. With a comma like that. And then now we can put the criteria. Maybe the criteria I wanted to count anything. Uh, that is uh, about that is greater maybe than that is greater than 60 that is greater than that 60 I like that and then from there I can close it like that and then I can click enter and there you can see in that range we have eight that are greater than 60 that is one two three four five uh, maybe six, seven, eight. So you can see eight is the one that is greater than uh, than sixty. Remember, you can do as many as you wish. Maybe, for example, like here, I may have maybe here the name. I may have name here. The name, for example, there, and then here I may have the marks. And the marks. marks and here maybe i may have the results the result i may have the result there like that and then here maybe we can uh, give this and maybe the first one i can have ryan a lion maybe the ryan had a 50 or maybe a 85 then here i can have uh, a 98 maybe for Remy, maybe for Remy like that and maybe I can have maybe something to do with uh, maybe Morris I may have maybe a 65 here I may have a 65 that way and then the other one I may have a 58 and then here I may have maybe uh, someone to do with the uh, maybe hammer and then here I may have Carol and here maybe this one has a 85 uh, 85 that way and then here I may have maybe a 45 uh, maybe from uh, maybe uh, Dennis uh, that way all the way that so that's a, a bit of uh, what we need so here we can put the result here we can put the result here and we want to have a comment maybe to every one of these to every one of these to every one of these so in this case uh, maybe if there is a 90 I love a distinction maybe if there is 80 I have maybe a credit and maybe the other one they are just passes because there is none who have failed below that. So I can have the equals and then here I can if the have the if condition like that and then here I can put that under the condition now I can have uh, maybe the ridge. I can have this sorry and that we want it to be uh, maybe greater than uh, greater than uh, greater than what than 80 uh, that way and then I can separate it maybe with a comma here and then this one is a, a maybe a distinction this one is a distinction and 
distinction. And that one is a distinction that way. And then here, I can have, uh, maybe we separate it with a comma to have it in a nested. Can have maybe the next one is uh, maybe if, and then I can have my second uh, condition. And in that, I still am going to have the same. If it is uh, greater than maybe, the other one is greater than 80. Let us put this one to be greater than uh, 90. And then this one to be greater than 80. If it is greater than 80, I need to have maybe a credit. Maybe a credit. maybe a credit else maybe it is a, a fail else maybe it is a fail so i can have uh, maybe the the other one let it be just a pass it be just a pass like that and then to avoid scaring people in one formula we can just end at that uh, there's a pass like that and then we can close it like that and then click enter so you see here this is called a credit because it is a 85 and then i can copy these uh, down ones like that and here you can see here this is called a, a 95 there isn't it that's a, and if this one scores maybe a 60 if this student will score a 60 it is a pass if we give him a 89 it's a credit if we give a 98 is a distinction and if we give maybe 100 it's also a distinction and if we give a zero it's a pass so now to avoid that you can go to an extent of uh, maybe giving another if condition inside uh, maybe these uh, condition so and that's bring us to the end of this session i was your trainer maurice monene if you found this video of importance to you please consider subscribing like and share so that we can increase this family of learning it skills or practicals next we are going to discuss something we call the mathematical functions including the operators and symbols and function so please don't be left out so to avoid this just subscribe like and share thank you and see you in the next class